Welcome to the very first video of 2023. I just have a good feeling about 2023. I don't know what it is, but I know I know it's going to be good. I know this year is meant for me. I've had this rough in 2021 and 2022, but third time's a charm. Anyways, in today's video, I feel like the title already explains itself. I'll be giving you guys a little life update, somewhat of a story time me bearing my heart out to you guys because i rarely ever do that i think this is the year where i just open up some more i talk about failures my win and i just enjoy what i do i'm feeling hot so let me put on the fan for a second i'm just going to go into the reason we are all here today and talk about the big elephant in the room which is law school <clears throat> Alright, in 2019, I completed my LL because I don't really talk about school much on my platforms because I'm here for makeup, I'm here for beauty, I'm here for enjoyment. It's not here that I'm coming to talk about school, so yeah. Let's, let's, let's take it back. Let's take it back. So in Ghana, the way to become a lawyer is you have to go get a degree, an LLB degree, right? And then from there, you do a professional law course at the Ghana School of law aka makola for two years and after you pass the two years you can now go to the bar you do your pupillage now you're a lawyer lawyer so yeah that is the process so technically you go to school for six years so in 2019 when i finished my llb my results didn't come in time so i could not apply to write the entrance exam in 2019 so i wrote the entrance exam in 2020 and i passed so i entered law school in 2020 i think it was probably november or october 2020 something in 2020 getting to the end of 2020 i entered law school now makola as i mentioned earlier has two parts part one and part two the way that it works is you have to pass i think we write about six courses in part one so you have to pass more than three yes if you pass three or less you repeat the entire year which in my humble opinion makes no sense but i am not here to debate the school rules i frankly do not care anymore but we'll get to that so yeah 2020 i started i feel like i've been talking and i haven't done anything yet and i want to do my makeup so let me let me get to it right after i entered law school i also launched main which is my jewelry brand everything was fine up until early 2021 when i lost someone very very dear to my heart it was a rough time I won't lie. I haven't really experienced loss like I did during that time and I really went through it. The person who was literally the reason why I was in school literally and figuratively passed. So it was tough. It was tough for me and that was how I began 2021. Fast forward somewhere in 2021 after we wrote our uh, part one exams i keep saying uh because i entered law school with my boyfriend you've probably seen that he's been called to the bar if you follow me on my tiktok if you don't you should but yeah we got the results for the part one exams and my name was not on the list at the time i didn't know what that meant so i was freaking out i was like what's happened is it possible that they think i didn't write the exams like what's going on i was freaking out i was crying i called my my mom i was like mom i'm releasing results no me didn't need me. i was just freaking out i didn't understand what was going on and about i think two hours into me freaking out i received a notice from my class group that if you did not see your name on the list it means you did not pass the required number of papers which is more than three and i kid you not i have not felt as bad about anything as much as i did about failing that that's <laughs> that part like i i was so sad i was broken i was i was just like how the hell is this happening coming from someone who has basically never failed at anything the heartbreak was real i don't think anything has hurt me as much but yeah moving on so i failed and <sighs> It was sad. I was like, you know what? Let me go for remarking because you can. You're allowed to do that. You can go for remarking for as many papers as you want. You can even get all the papers you've written 
remark essentially so i was like i'm going to go for remarking and i did um i went for remarking for two papers and one paper i had the pass mark is 50. one paper i had 47 or so like i had very close to 50 so the assumption was oh if you go for remarking it will be easy for you to get some two or three marks you know boost you up so that you can just go to part two and then rewrite the two that you didn't pass so i was hopeful even though partner was like going for part two lectures and it did take a toll on me because people know us obviously outside the internet people know us people know that we are both in law school so then people start to ask questions especially people who were in the same class with because we were sitting together people will be asking him oh where's Abba, we haven't seen Abba in a while, blah blah blah. And it all takes a toll on you because then you're like, why is everybody in my fucking business? But <laughs> that's fine. You can't really blame people for caring about you or being coconsa. Everybody's coconsa in some way or some form. I was waiting for the remark and I was very hopeful. I was so hopeful when I took that decision to get the remarking done. And you know the annoying thing, right? Like when you get the remarking done and you don't pass they keep the money so here i am having spent i will not go into details of the amount but it's quite hefty so having spent that amount of money thinking that i will receive some good news and i'll be able to you know join my colleagues in part two and everything will be merry and jolly little did i know so fast forward the remarking also took forever honestly speaking it took so long and during that time i wasn't going for lectures i don't lie like i would go maybe like once in a while and um, it was heartbreaking honestly because we were put in a class like a repeat class so everybody in that class you know is feeling exactly how you are feeling and that class smells like depression <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating, like that class smelled like hopelessness and every time I entered I was just like bro, I cannot do this so I was ready going to class and eventually, eventually released the result for the remarking and I even got lower marks than I did <laughs> on the original so I was like, you know what, let me just accept it I'm a part one girlie again let me do part one all over again so then i picked up where i left off i you know went for classes did group studies i worked twice as hard as i did in the first exam and i was pretty confident that you know this time around fast forward we are now in 2022 this time around i would excel and you know at least make it to part two even if my boyfriend gets called before me i'm still going to get called anyways you know be that cute lawyer couple <laughs> and so yeah we entered 2022 and we wrote the exams we wrote the exams somewhere in july i think the results were released in november yes just this past november and the results came and i failed again not one not two <laughs> but thousand i was like ah Am I a joke to you people? Like, am I am I dumb? And I don't know that I am dumb. You know, like when you fill the paper and you're like, it's not even a paper, you fill papers, you trail papers, and then you're like, ah, did I not study for this? What's happening here? I'm going to say this just for the record that when the part two's results were released, my index number was on the part two list. So me being, you know, very hopeful, I'm like, oh, maybe I'm on like the past list for the part one. But since I'm a repeat student, they probably like made a mistake and put my name on the pass list for the part two. So when the part one list comes, yeah, my name is going to be there. Like there's no way. I was like elated actually. Only for the results to come out and I had failed a second time. And I promise you that it hurt even more than the first time because then it's like double homicide it's like you are dumb twice and like i said for someone who has rarely ever failed at anything especially academically what's happening here so yeah um i cried i broke down like i cried the first time but the second time i cried for days because not only is law school emotionally stressful it is financially stressful like did i mention that if you trail 
you pay your school fees again it's not like they're going to be like you're going back to part one but you know maybe like pay one quarter of the fees since you already paid that's not how it works so i was like bro this isn't happening to me again i remember my partner being like don't worry we're going to apply for remarking again and i'm like bro <laughs> with what money <laughs> And quite frankly, I was done at that point. Like, not done, done, but like, I was just like not going to entertain the idea of hope. I didn't want to like put myself in a position where I was going to be hopeful and then I'll get heartbroken again because nothing is more painful than thinking that there's hope and then all your hope is just shattered. And that's what happened the first time. So I was like, no. Nope. I'm not going for remarking. I checked the raw score. I'm just going to pretend. Not even pretend. I'm going to accept that this might not be my path for now. And that's okay. I think that's the entire morale or entire lesson behind this video I'm making. That it's okay to fail and it's okay to accept that same for me. And I can't do this now. I need to take a break from this all of that it's totally fine don't make anybody make you feel like if you stop or take a break from trying to achieve your goals you failed you haven't failed it takes a lot of boldness a lot of courage for you to say that i'm going to put a hold on this thing that i'm trying to do that is not working and actually take that break you know take a step away from it and just like try to figure out doing something else and that's what i'm doing i wrote to the school i was like i'm taking a break because i financially emotionally and physically cannot do this for the time being so i need a break what is called a gap year i need a break because i cannot do this anymore and when i'm ready i will be back so like i was saying in the meantime i'm just going to you know take a break away from school so essentially i failed law school twice and i am taking a break to just sit with my thoughts try new things take adventures i don't know do anything else but law school in the meantime and just enjoy life because like and I was having a conversation the other day with Adobia. She's a content creator and we were just talking about her. I was just telling her, say, Adobia, I'm taking a cap here. And like, she was like, Abba, I'm so proud of you. And I'm going to try and insert some screenshots if I can. She made this statement that I feel like has to be framed. I don't remember the exact words. We are all on different paths. And once you really understand that, things will begin to make a lot more sense you everybody in this life is destined for a different type of greatness so if you are failing at something if something is not working out the way you want it to, i promise you that it is not the end of life <laughs> obviously grieve because you know the tears that i've shed for me to be able to talk about this today and like i'm not teary or anything i've shed proper tears i've lamented I've asked God why am I not your favorite anymore because me one thing about me I'm God's favorite but yeah like I've asked all those questions and I'm like God did I do something like did I say something did I offend you in any way because why has this happened to me not once but twice tell me what's happening God tell me what's happening I think I'm going to like try and complete my makeup and then come back because I'm talking too much I don't want this video to be long Alright, so I managed to finish up the look. So that is the story of how I failed law school twice. And I say this just to say that or to encourage someone that it's okay to fail and embrace that failure and allow it to push you to do other things. Nobody wants to spend their life being stuck in a cycle that isn't productive. I know some of you are going to be in the comment section and be like oh you should have tried a third time which i will I, it's not like i'm entirely giving up i'm just saying that i need this year to myself i need this year to 
figure out my life figure out my goals expand my business do good things for myself just you know like enjoy life and also take content creation seriously because this is where my heart is when i started law school i stopped posting i stopped creating i stopped taking collaborations and i haven't come back to creating and this is also sort of my like comeback because now i am officially taking collaborations i am going to be working with brands you guys know i don't just work with anybody i don't open slots i like to i don't know try the brand myself and then i know that i can put people on i don't want to recommend something to you that i haven't personally tried i'm excited for 2023 and i will be creating more content putting out more youtube videos more vlogs because last year you guys ate my vlogs up like everybody in the comment section is like i love the editing i love the music so i'm going to put more work in that i'm just going to live and enjoy 2020 me because life is too short and so yeah <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and if this was your first time seeing me my name is abba i create beauty videos lifestyle vlogs makeup hauls all that kind of stuff so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in you should consider subscribing and i'll see you all in my next video bye <laughs>